and welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Elena Russo. It is believed that nearly 60,000 people are diagnosed with Parkinson's each year in the United States alone. Today we're talking to Diane Ring of NPR and the co-chair of a big event coming up for Parkinson's Action Networks. Please welcome Diane. Thank Hello. you for coming in. Thank you. Now, you are co-chairing this big event that we'll get to, but I'd like to talk first about Parkinson's Action Network, I guess formerly, or, or better known as PAN. What is PAN? PAN is really the only advocating group to push for more research. Uh, so we, through our lobbying effort in Congress, through our advocacy around the country, really are looking for how to press for more research for a disease that, as you've said, hits 60,000 new people every year, my husband being one. So you've seen firsthand uh, what a disease like that does to somebody and how I guess somebody can deteriorate over a long period of time that I don't believe we still know what the causes are, correct? We don't. We have no idea whether it is in fact genetic, whether it's environmental. My husband retired from 40 years of international law practice. He was fine. And three or four years later, after doing lots of good volunteer work, I began noticing symptoms, and he was ultimately diagnosed with Parkinson's. Now, PAN is one of the only groups that I think works with Congress in trying to push forth their efforts. Um, can you kind of expand a little bit on that and what they're doing? Well, you know, we do not do the research ourselves. We're simply urging the Congress to provide the funds for research so that, for example, stem cell research is something that researchers are hoping will eventually lead to some improvement, if not cure, of Parkinson's, but it's a long shot, and we just have to keep working day by day to make sure to raise awareness among the general public, but especially within the Congress about Parkinson's and the need for research dollars to go into Parkinson's. And key word, research dollars. Uh, exactly. You've got a big event coming up. Let's talk about it. Well, it's in September. It's the 14th, and it will be at the National Press Club. We always get a wonderful group there. And this year, as a special event, we'll be both roasting and toasting Mort Kondracki, who's just retired from roll call. We all have Wolf Blitzer. We'll have Elner Clift, we'll have Fred Barnes of Fox News, and I'll conduct an interview with them to have really a great evening. We'll be honoring Chris Van Hollen, the congressman from Maryland, and Story Landis of NIH for her work, for his work in terms of advocacy for Parkinson's. So it sounds like an evening where you will not only be entertained, but you'll also learn a lot. Exactly. And teaching about Parkinson's is absolutely crucial. I think until it happens to you, you have no idea what a cruel and devastating disease it can be. So the idea of people coming together to learn, support the issue, Support advocacy is what we're all about. Well, Diane, thank you so much for coming in, and we urge our viewers to check out your website at parkinsonsaction.org for more info. Thank you. You just heard from Diane Rain of NPR and the co-chair of the Morris K. Udall Awards Dinner for the Parkinson's Action Networks. To learn more on what's going on in your communities, check out On Demand and click Get Local. For Comcast Newsmakers, I'm Elena Russo.